Morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for stopping by. A little disheveled? Yeah. Uh, it's a slow morning. It is 6.56 here in beautiful, cloudy, overcast, dismal, rainy, pouring, all-encompassing, Seasonal depression esque cloudy Los Angeles. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm going to work. Why are you up? We do Wasteland AM over here, people. We do Wasteland AM on Tuesdays and Thursdays, guys. Bruh, you Angelinos get seasonal depression from two weeks of rain. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's really not. When I lived in... um, I briefly lived in Eugene, Oregon. And that was bad. That kicked my ass. Eugene, Oregon was horrible. And I didn't have a car. Uh, I did not have a car. <laughs> How many days a year does it rain in Eugene, Oregon? Let's see. Who is Sob Superstar just gifted who one is, sub? Who is Sob Superstar? Thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. How many days? How many days? I heard... That it was like, oh, 109 days of the year. So, almost a third of the year it's raining. Uh, Kali Nonsense, morning. Good morning. First time chat. Welcome. <clears throat> yeah, it, it it's raining right now. It rained yesterday and will rain all day today. Shout out, Oregon. Yeah. Um, so I didn't have a car when I lived there. I I was a student. I was fresh out of high school pretty much. I had no car. <clears throat> so I had to ride my bicycle everywhere. And this is my version of like that annoying story that your grandparents are like, I walked both ways uphill in the snow to go get my rations. That's my version. I had to ride my bicycle to school uphill both ways. How does that work? I don't really understand it. It's like an Escher painting. You guys know? It's like this. 
This is your grandparents going to school b uphill both ways. <laughs> and this was me. I rode my bike uphill both ways in Eugene, Oregon. It was a mind fuck. One, it would just be dumping rain. It would just be dumping rain. It was miserable. And that was rough for me, mentally. I needed one of those, um, they would have the rooms. Did you have that at your school, Sam? They would have like uh, seasonal depression rooms. What? <laughs> You're not familiar with that? No. Uh, it would be rooms with like some sort of like vitamin D lamps or something. You look like someone from Eugene, Oregon. I don't know if I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. You do give Eugene. I I'm 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 sorry. I hated it. I hated it there. Uh, hey, have you checked PO box yesterday? Yes, I did. I will open it in a second. Sunlight lamps. Yes. No, I'm not from Eugene. Um. Sunlight lamps. We should get those deck them all out on the ceiling. <laughs> K K Smizzle, thank you for the follow. Anti Hoshel, thank you for the follow. Also, while I was offline, Jacob Hogan subscribed. Thank you, appreciate you. Um Yeah, let me see like seasonal. Seasonal depression lamps. There was like a room. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Seasonal depression room. College. This was not this. I didn't have. So I was. Um, I went to the community college in Eugene. And all my friends were all at the University of Oregon. So I would, and I had to go catch a bus on the University of Oregon campus to go to the city college. So I would have to ride my bike through the pouring rain, through like the big university with all of the co like college bustling crowds. And I'd have to hop on my bus and I it would take me like, away to the uh, community college uphill both ways yes that's right Ugh. I'm so I'm so tired I forgot that I put um I put some peps in here performance enhancing powders to wake me up a little pep I put some pep in here Performance enhancing powder. Got pep in my step, baby. Pep in my step. <clears throat> my commute was perfectly level both ways. There were no major elevation changers either direction. You kids are so lucky these days. Hello, Tizzle. Thank you for the follow. Tectonic Tension. Thank you for the follow. Why did you pick the City College in Eugene? So, I graduated. Here's, I'm just going to talk about myself for a second. Because what else What else are we going to do? I graduated uh, high school. And then I went to City College in San Francisco. Um, and it was fine. I was super lonely though. It was one of those things where if you don't have like a good base of friends, it's one of those situations where it's like almost the more people around you, the 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 more packed the city is, the more it um elevates and puts like a hyper focus on how lonely you are in a way because you're like there's people everywhere and i feel so lonely 
you know. Sharon 1911 uh, just gifted one so, sub. Sharon, thank you for the gifted. Good morning, my friend. Uh, yeah, so that's just called being a loser. <laughs> Look, I didn't deny it. I was a loser. I was a dork. I was walking uphill both ways, not efficient. But uh, no, I mean, a lot of people, I think, do have that, um, uh, you know, in the city. It's unfortunate. So anyways, my um, I had a buddy of mine that was like, yo, let's get a house with a bunch of our friends in Eugene, Oregon. Because we knew a couple people up there who were studying at U of O. And he was like, we'll get a big house. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be this big communal feeling. It'll be a lot of fun. He, he'd sold me on it. He was a salesman. And I moved up there, got a house with four of my uh, closest friends from high school. And nobody is friends anymore. <laughs> it was awful. We all fought. Um... It was raining all the time. No one socialized. We all had beef with each other. And um, yeah, that was that. And then I came to Los Angeles. But yeah, the beef. Guys, Ribbit. Hey, hey. The cats are fighting. Are you still beefing? No, I, I patched up my various beefs. With, with the group. But I don't think they've... I think I'm the only one that, that communicates with, with all of them. Is that where you got your love for that one cereal? Oh my god, yes. That was the best thing. If anyone has access to this, bro. I cannot get it here. If anyone can hook this up. That's my P.O. Box. <laughs> Northern Gold Whole Grain Cereal Granola Raspberry and Blueberry. This shit was all I needed. I ate I hit boxes and boxes of this shit. <laughs> Looks like a parent cereal. Yeah. Northern Gold and Bebo. Oh. Ugh. So anyways, that's that's enough storytelling. I was thinking it could be fun to do like a uh like a AMA type stream with Sam and I. What do you think, Sam? Would you be down? Yeah, that'd be fun. She said yes. That'd be fun. I don't know when we could do that. But that could be fun. Just just answering questions, fucking around. Rambling about myself narcissistic um so today's date we got one more day to play the march jazz playlist <laughs> i love seeing what ambient shit pops up on my home page well first we got we got the wb frog who as we all know his name is michigan but then we got the Ratatouille ambient music. I gotta hear this. It's... Okay. That's kind of nice. Now, I have a couple notes. I feel like we need a little more motion in in the graphic. Stupesney just gifted. Stupesney. Subs. Thank you for the gifted sub. Good morning, good morning. Legend. Yeah, this is fine. We we need a little more. I need to see some cars moving. Remy needs to maybe blink. I'd like him to do little rat noises into the microphone too, just like Like he's eating a block of cheese. Like that. 
Asking too much? Never. Look, I have a very high standard when it comes to ambient edits. Oh God, please don't stop. Yeah. Like imagine him sitting there and he's holding a little piece of cheese right there. And he'll periodically go like, he's doing like the video game, like shrug. And then he like, he'll blink and then it'll go. Anyways, did you like that, Sam? Yes. She said yes. She said it was very good. <laughs> uh, what was I looking up? Oh yes, I need I need March. <coughs> the March Jazz Morning Playlist. Let's go. Two more days of this. And then it's done. Then we got to go to April Jazz. I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. It could be it could be just an atonal nightmare. But if it is, I I legally have to play it. I have no choice. It's April Jazz. So we got one pack. This is the P.O. Box address. We got one package. Um, I'm going to try and be a little cautious here. Um, is there address information? There is. Oh, I see. No, no, I, I got it. I got it. Um, I'm opening it below. Looks like this is from Sharon. Sharon's the only one who sent me mail. So thank you, Sharon. You're a legend. All right, let's see what we got here. It looks like there's two things in here. Sher shout out to Sharon. So it says to Ian and Sam. Oh, this is cool. It uh, looks like it's um, it's like a uh, art magazine juxtapose art and culture. If I flip through this, Sharon, are there any titties in here? Is anyone hanging dong in this art book? Vivian Westwood. This is cool. It's so cool. I'll put this right on the toilet tank. Right, right, right there. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. I'm looking for. A... Oh, there's a little butt crack. I saw Sharon. You, 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 dog. I saw an ass crack in here. This is how I want to be. This guy. Me just listening to Blonde by Frank Ocean. That's vibes, dude. This is cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the Bubba's. Oh, that's the Bubba's. <laughs> the Bubba's. Reuben Penny. <laughs> you hear that, Rue? Reuben had a little bit of an... Oh, it's zoomed. Reuben had a bit of an eye problem yesterday, but he's looking really good now. Aren't you, Bubba? Aren't you? Hi. Were you having an eye thing, Ruby? Oh. Yeah, he periodically gets this eye issue where one of his eyes will get all um it'll get all cloudy. 
it'll sort of, um, it, the color will change. Like, he has these beautiful blue eyes, but it'll turn like this, like, um, like a muddy greenish hazel. Yeah, that's what Sam said. And his eye will be like, he'll barely be able to open it. And, um, he'll barely be able to open it. And then, uh, he'll kind of, he'll like, his depth perception will be all messed up. And the first time he got it, he had it for, um, like a few days. And we took him to the vet multiple times and they couldn't tell us what was going on. Um, they st to this day, we still don't know what it is. He's gotten it, I think, four times since then. Uh, but we have medical drops, so we give him a drop. <clears throat> we try and catch it quickly. Um, yeah, he's not getting enough shrimp treats. Yeah, I mean, that might be the solution. My cat's eye closes up from slewing once a month or so. I clean it and it gets better. I have no idea what it is. Why does it happen? I, we, we have no idea. We have no idea. Um, the vet didn't really tell us, you know. The vet has a tendency to do this thing where they'll just be like, it could be everything. So therefore, we need to run like a thousand dollars worth of tests to rule everything out. And we did, we did. And they still were like, eh, it could be uh, an infection. He could have gotten into something. It could be his feline coronavirus I don't know they lift but they didn't sound convinced on anything should she be getting ready for work yeah I will in a second we just do a little morning stream uh Tuesdays Thursdays uh looks like we got another shirt in here we got the REI co-op gear and services REI Co-op Gear and Services Made with Love. Trail Supplies. Some nightwear. Oh, this is cozy. This is nice and soft. I'll wear this on the trail. One more is there for Wham. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Sharon. That's a super cozy feeling shirt. Uh, oh, we can match. Share, or, there you go. Let's go. That's cute. Thank you so much. Wearing. Wearing. Let me fold these up properly. Put some respect on, on it. These are really soft. These are super nice. Thank you, Sharon. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Sharon just wrote in chat. Sharon is a king. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... I appreciate the... the the uh, self-acknowledgement. If we are not fans of ourselves, how can we expect others to be? You know? Right, Penny? The Pentagorgon. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Mrs. Girl. Swings, guys, uh, if you uh, want to send anything, it could be anything. I'll open it on stream, whatever it is. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't open the card. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> it says, To Sam and Ian, from Juicer Magooser. <laughs> the Juicer Magooser. Right, Penny Girl. Right, Mrs. Baby Queen. Yes, yes, yes. Rubber boo. Rubber boo. Enough camera time for you, Penny. That's enough. Mrs. Baby Queen. Okay, what do we got here? I'm opening the card.
This is cute. Uh, <clears throat> I'm reading it now. It, the cover says, uh, oh, it's, it's so blurry. My shit's out of focus today. Hold on. Let's, let's focus up. Let's Much better. The card is, it's a cat talking to a dog and it says, I was a dog in a previous life, but I came back as a god. Shout out. Gifts are given for appreciation for the laughs <clears throat> and kindness you bring to everyone. Love the Wastelanders. Thank you, Sharon. That's super sweet. And it looks like we got a couple stickers in here. Red Rock Canyon, some Las Vegas magnets. Sharon's from Vegas. Oh, it says, welcome Ian and Samantha. <laughs> See that, Sam? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. That's sweet. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Nice way to kick off the morning. Nice way to kick off the morning. <clears throat> oh boy. Got to go. Bye. Thanks for making my day. Oh no, thank you for sending us some stuff, Sharon. Appreciate you. That was so sweet. Super sweet. Yesterday, I was listening to the pod while eating Taco Bell. I had my headphones in, went to fart, and the fart was a shart, and I jet skied out my shorts. Look, rise and grind, baby. You know? That's, uh, that's part of the hustle sometimes. That's part of the hustle. Happens to the best of us. Does it? <coughs> Just kidding, it does. <sighs> Today's a new day, grind on. Yes, that's right. Time to get ready for work, I know. I sharted twice last year. I've never done it previously. It was a weird week. The legendary double shart. That's the, that's more valuable than even like, like the double rainbow. That's a good omen, actually, my friend. The double shart is a good omen. You should take that as a good sign of things to come. That's like a five-leaf clover. BB Bubs, thank you for the follow. Mangrieve, thank you for the follow. Young Fika, yo. 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 Just a little morning juice. A little morning juicer. Before work. <sighs> Putting it off. Sage XOXO, thank you for the follow. We just gotta try and wake up. This is the wake up stream. Flaky Bakery, thank you for the follow. Data Science Nerd just subscribed. Data Science Nerd, thank you for the Prime Subby Legend. Legend, legend. Charlie XTX wake up stream. Dude, I get to see Charlie soon. I get to see Charlie in like a couple weeks. Coachella. <coughs> you going to Coachella? Yes, I believe I am. I 
believe I am. Thoughts on Tyler's new singles? I actually haven't uh, heard them. I will probably do a New Music Friday tomorrow. So we'll listen to that. We'll listen to whatever else, what other other crap comes out. <laughs> I don't know. We got a couple good weeks of music, so I have a feeling tomorrow, I have no idea what comes out tomorrow, but I have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be um, a bad week. I don't know what's coming out. You bopping to new Melanie Martinez? Once I, I haven't, I haven't heard, I haven't heard that either. Uh, I, I'll have to check it out. Anti he shall just subscribe. Anti he shall, anti ho shall. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. You've got to listen. I, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. <coughs> I'll, I'll do it tomorrow probably. Hey Ian, do you have an email for a potential collaboration? Um, you can message me. Well, I have the dis uh, the Discord link if you wanted to uh, get in there. I'm ready for a new Charlie era. Me too. Me too. I liked Crash, but I didn't think it was as good as her previous record. So I'm working right now, but I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. But don't forget to keep grinding. Even in your sleep. Ian, did you ever talk about what you thought about Swarm? I liked I liked Swarm. I finished it the other day. Uh, overall, I liked it. But I don't know if I liked it that much until the end. I would say. Because without spoiling it. So Swarm is a show on Amazon. Um, some of it is written by Donald Glover, um, uh, it's produced by him as well, um, sort of a, uh, uh, like a thriller murder show about a, a, a stan of this made up character that's meant to resemble Beyonce, so it's sort of like a, uh, parody of the beehive that's why it's called the swarm but i i just i felt like uh for those who've seen the show there the the end of the first episode like a uh what's meant to be sort of a shocking thing happens something happens that's meant to make you go like oh my god that's crazy whoa whoa oh no oh no there's meant to be a big oh no at the end of the first episode. <clears throat> it's, meant, it's meant to catch you off guard, right? And then they used that big oh no catch you off guard moment on the, to end the second episode, to end the third episode, I believe to end the fourth episode. They kept doing it. Five episodes in, I'm like, okay, I get this. Th this thing keeps happening, where you f uh, you feel like the story is progressing in a certain way, and then it just resets the. Pl I don't know, I don't know. It's hard to explain without spoiling it, but it's too new, so I don't want to. If you guys want to watch it, you would probably see what I mean. I don't know. Donald Glover only directed the first episode. Uh, I believe that's true. Yes. Um, I agree. Okay, I'm glad you under. I'm glad you understand. Billie Eilish was was good in it. I thought she was. I don't know if Billie Eilish was good at acting necessarily, or if that's just how she is as a person. Because she her vibe in the show is very like, "Hey, what's up? Life's so good, isn't it? We're all just having a good time, right?" And I'm like, everyone goes, "Oh my god, her performance was insane," and I'm like. Is it insane or is this just how she like is like being like, welcome, welcome. 
Would you like some carbonated milk? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you so much. Life is good, isn't it? That's what she does in the show. But I'm like, is that your character? I don't know. I need to see her act in something else. I need to see her act in like, uh, like, like a movie like Cats. You know? To, I need to compare. I need to see her act in something else to get a to get a gauge to get a feel on if it was good or not because she might she could pop up in another movie like she could show up in uh in um i don't know uh like some sort of uh i'm trying to think of an example like mad max fury road 2 right something just or the Furiosa movie is what it's called. High octane, something crazy. There's fucking cars flying over. People are getting shot with harpoon guns in the chest. Everyone's screaming, go, go, drive, drive. And it cuts to Billy Ashton. She's like, Mad Max, drive faster, man. Come on. We got to drive fast. Drive fast. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Actually, that sounds good. As I said that out loud, I was meant to be making a joke, but that actually sounds like a good movie. <laughs> That'd be very calming. Those movies are so intense. I would love to have a, sort of a calming presence to guide me through the story. That'd be like the movie equivalent of like the kinetic sand meme, you know? They should have that in a little box in the corner of crazy movies just right down here during big fight scenes. You're watching some like, like some lights and explosion fucking gangbang clusterfuck epilepsy gangbang on screen. It's some crazy Marvel blockbuster and then Billie Eilish should pop up in the corner and she's like, hey, I know this is a little intense. I know it's a little crazy, isn't it? It's crazy we're here. But just sit back, relax. You need anything? You want you want some more popcorn? You want to refill on that on that Coke? Coke I could grab you Coke Zero. I'm personally a Coke Zero person. Yeah? No? Alright, well just just let me know if you need anything, okay? We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna have so much fun. The best fun. Okay. And then she fades out. I want, I want that feature. I want that feature. Does Ian go to work on Thursday? Yes, I do. We just do a little early stream. We do like a little, like close to an hour and a half. Just sort of wake up, face the day. And then I gotta head to work. After this, just a chill one. <laughs> Ian, favorite game you've played recently? Oh, Resident Evil, I keep thinking just about subscribed. it. Budasaurus, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Love the early streams. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> what shows are you and Sam watching? Sam is watching Breaking Bad for the first time. She's never seen it. She just got past the the Fly episode. So she's working through that. I'm not watching anything at the moment, but I do want to watch uh, the second season just premiered of uh, Yellow Jackets. I don't know if any of you guys have watched this show. I thought the first season was fun. I don't think it was like the greatest thing I've ever seen, but I thought it was a, a fun show. It's kind of reminiscent of, um, it has aspects of like Lost, and I was a huge Lost diehard when I was in school. So I love that aspect of it. The acting is fun. Uh, it's, um, it's great. Michelle Pfeiffer is great. 
I mean, ev everyone is does a good job, but um, yeah. So I, I'm I'm excited to wa to get caught up on on, on this. <coughs> Stitching hour. Thank you for the follow. Nova ninety nine. Thank you for the follow. We're like almost two hundred followers away from fifteen k. When we get to fifteen k, we'll probably do the uh, the overnight stream. The um, Sam's leaving. Do you want to come wave by? Penny's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Penny's just watching the stream this time. She's sticking around. Normally she leaves. Or her blanket's here. Yeah, this is Penny's blanket. I put it up here. Sam's here. Have a good day. Look, well, Sam's like put together, ready for the day. I'm looking unwashed. I'm looking dirty, busted. So thank you for coming on and showing me up. Don't you guys dare have a bad day, I swear to God. Don't have a bad day. If Sam one of you it. guys has a bad day, I swear to God. Uh. My God. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay. I am leaving. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We already miss her? Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. We haven't even... God, you guys always... I, you guys usually ask me to do the the, war, the Wordle. It stresses me out because every time I, I, I have the opportunity to look like a fucking idiot. And it's super embarrassing. Like, this is not good for me. Um, no, 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 um, oh my god, D um, J see, it's stupid to use two D's, oh god, that's such a dumb idea, oh, yo, Please, is it Thursday morning? Let's get this bread. Wake up stream, rise and grind. Yes, let's get this bread, people. Let's get this bread. Rise and grind stream. There's no such thing as a coincidence. We got it. What about the hurdle? <laughs> what about the hurdle? Let's see. Let's listen. Let's listen closely. I'm going to turn up the audio. Listen closely. Don't say it if you know what it is. Don't say it in chat. But say if you think you know it. I straight up don't know what this is. Easy? Oh my god, I'm bad. Okay, I'm gonna add on a little time. Skipped. Party girl. Oh, it's um... It's Chandelier, right? Let's go. You got today's hurdle within two seconds. We're on fire today. We are on fire. Remember that video had Shia LaBeouf in it? Everyone, I feel like, kind of memory hold that that was a thing. Wrong video? <laughs> Wrong one? Do some Wall Street trades you're having luck this morning? I know, it's been a good one. There's, there's only... There's only one thing left to do, and it's to, uh, 
<clears throat> check my horoscopes here. I pick three different ones so that I always come out on top. I can delete the ones I don't like. That's how it works, right? <clears throat> Gemini. If you aren't romantically involved, an errand, walk, or foray into your neighborhood might bring an exciting new person in your life. Yeah, I'm sure that happened walking around my neighborhood. There's a lot of interesting characters. Like the guy who shit in a box and put it in front of my house the other morning. Maybe I'd run into him. New bestie alert? New bestie alert? Okay. This encounter may or may not lead to something lasting, Gemini. I love when they address me in Gemini. It makes me feel like I'm in like some sort of superhero uh, <clears throat> encounter. But you will enjoy it anyway. Okay. Maybe we'll both shit in a box together. Bonding. If you're currently involved... Oh, wait, never mind. I am involved, so I can't do that. A casual outing with your partner could result in intimate conversations that bring the two of you closer. Like conversations about shitting in boxes, maybe. <clears throat> okay. So maybe I'll have to, uh, Sam and I will go on a walk around the neighborhood. We'll walk to, um, I don't know. We'll walk to a nearby, uh, bowling alley and bond. I have two, they're, they're telling me I'm going to have this great encounter that's going to be really nice. And intimate and then I get a two star on sex and a three star on vibe I straight up can never break into the four star on sex it's like the worst game of GTA no matter what I do my hustle is very low considering this is the rise and grind stream bad hustle but good success so, see, this is actually good. Two-star hustle, four-star success. Work smarter, not harder, people. Work smarter, not harder. That's one of the key components of Rise and Grind. Let's, less hustle, more success. That's a W. I agree. Low effort, high yield is the dream. I've lived by that, brother. Apparently, I uh, love these, like, two assholes connected here <clears throat> for Pisces. This is, it's like two dudes hot dogging uh, with this guy's ball sack. Or what maybe like some sort of anal bead um, for friendship and then career. Obviously, this is just dick and balls for uh, Capricorn everyone knows what the, the symbols represent is this sort of the what does this Rorschach test say about me because this is unironically what I'm seeing here what does that say I don't know do I want to dig into it probably not uh, Gemini, baby. If that phrase, I'll get back to you, makes your eyes roll, you aren't alone. There's a great deal of unfinished business going on around you. I know exactly who this is. Rip, Repo Zizo. Wait, Ripo Zippo. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Den Y, thank you for the follow. Nova99. Thank you, thank you, guys. Everyone is just dying for someone to deliver. How hard can it be to come up with answers? It's like you and your coworkers or friends are in a permanent holding pattern, just waiting for clearance. This period of limbo doesn't have to make you feel powerless though. Use your time wisely. Catch up on chores or busy work. I'm telling you guys, unironically, 
I'm sending this to... Uh, there is somebody that this will resonate with. Immediately. And I'm sending it to them right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't... I don't want to air them out. Let's see. I know this is good broadcasting, but it's someone... No, it's not Ethan. Um, let me send this to him. The person I'm talking about right now. Bethany's wow! Just resubscribed Very for three months. He needs my B day tomorrow. Can you read my horoscope, Plaza? Beth and Beans, thank you for the resub. It's your B day tomorrow. Yes, I will do the math and figure out your horoscope. Wow, very interesting. My horoscope today. I wonder who it could be referring to. And then let me do the thinking emoji, the one like that. I'll send like 50 of them. Um where is it? Ba 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 Good. Uh, it's Aries. Okay, this is for Beth and Beans, whose birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to Beth and Beans, everyone. To everyone, I wish a Beth a happy birthday. <clears throat> what are the Aries saying? What do we? What do we? What do we? What do we, we, we got? Exploration is fine for some. But you aren't going to be in the best frame of mind to go off discovering new hotspots, meeting new people, or uncovering new rock bands today. I mean, that's hard enough. Like, finding a good rock band today is a difficult task. They're, de they're undercover. They're deep undercover. No, for you, it will, all, it will be all about the known, the familiar, the comfortable. So don't do anything new if you don't feel like it. And you probably won't. Friends might pressure you here or there, but for the most part, people will be happy knowing that you're happy. So do something comforting. Go out there with, with the familiar faces. This is not the day for exploration, according to the Washington Post. Owned by Papa Bezos, who is the great oracle. And he's telling you, go with the familiar tomorrow on your birthday, okay? Oh, I got a re response from this motherfucker. They just sent me a bunch of cry laughing emojis. That's all? Cry laugh emoji? There's no, you know what? Let me get back to you. Naughty, naughty. That's what I'm referring to. That's what I'm referring to. <clears throat> I have one more horoscope, but I think the second one is my favorite. But we'll hop over to the New York Post here and uh, see what they got. Give me something good. Be careful what you choose to say today. Because the planets warn you could easily give away information that is best kept to yourself. So you guys are all asking me to spoil the beans. Spoil the beans. By all means, do what you can for others. But when they approach you for assistance, when they approach you for assistance, but keep the talk to a minimum. I ain't saying shit. I ain't saying shit. No spoilies in chat. No spoilies, people. No spoilies. The planets are straight up telling me no spoilies. <clears throat> I ain't gonna talk. You ain't gonna get anything out of me. Oh, 
Oh my god, Sam just sent me this crazy fucking photo. What the fuck? <clears throat> Sam just messaged me and said... She said, what do I even do in this situation? I guess she's trying to leave. And someone, some fucking idiot, parked like this. What the fuck? This is Sam's car. What the fuck is wrong with them? They're straight up touching her car. Like, what do you do? How close is the person behind her? That's so fucked. Have them towed? Well, Sam also, she like has to get to work. I might... Let me see. Let me, let me respond to her. Are, are you stuck in the back? How, how close is the car behind? That's insane. Do you... Wait, I can give you a ride if you're trapped. I know you're in a hurry. That's so fucked. This is so terrible. <clears throat> you need like a go-go gadget car. Uh... For, for parking in Los Angeles. Yo! <laughs> this is exactly what you need. If I get you right out of there. Let's see what she said. She said, I'm so stuck. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, she is super stuck. Um, I think I'll have to help her here because she, um, she has a big shoot today. She's a big Teddy Fresh thing. So, let me see. Stellar Honey, thank you for the follow. Mojo Bear, thank you for the follow. I mean, I I did have to uh, get ready for work anyways. Um, is, is, uh... I did have to get ready for work. Oh, she said no, it's okay. Come on, come on. She said, I'm going to get a toad. Shout out. Go off, queen. Go off, queen. Set it off. She said, I hope they have the worst day imaginable. Well, I mean, we've got a little a little time. Um, anyways, before her shoot. But it's still really fucking annoying. Uh... But I I do need to uh, get ready anyway. We all um, we all. What was I gonna say? We we all Sam wished all of us to have a good day, and that motherfucker came in and killed the vibe. We have to do street parking in, uh, uh, at our building. We get no parking. We have no parking spaces here. And some days it sucks. It is so bad. 
There's this guy. Drives me insane. He has this giant fucking piece of shit, like, moving van that he just owns. The windshield is smashed. The, the brake lights are smashed. There's a big hole in the side of the van. <clears throat> this is not like a street legal vehicle. It's straight up not. And he doesn't live on our street. He lives like a couple blocks over. And we only have street parking. And it is so packed on our street. And this dude <clears throat> pulls this fucking van on our street. And then dumps, he waits for street cleaning. Once a week, you have to move your car for street cleaning. The moment street cleaning ends and the street is empty, he drives that piece of shit van over here and he parks it. And it takes up two parking spaces. But he moves it. He ha he moves it for street cleaning so he can never get a ticket. He comes over here, moves it. We've put it... It still drives? It still drives. It's crazy though. It's crazy it still drives. If you saw this car, you'd be like, holy shit. Like, the windshield is, is like, sm it's all cracked and smashed. Like, you can't drive. If you saw this car on the freeway, you would pull it to a different lane. You'd be like, I don't want to be next to this thing. This is like that v that video of the fucking wheel shooting off and someone flew into the air. It's like, I, I would not want to drive next to this car. <clears throat> I had a... But no, it, it can't be, like... It can't be towed. Our neighbor, we mentioned it to our neighbor, and our neighbor uh, fi has filed like multiple parking requests. Um, but they don't do shit. The LA parking enforcement is not great unless they could give you a, like a, a, a fine. But their policy is that they're like, all right, we'll come out. We'll mark the tires. Come back in three days. If he's still there, we could possibly tow it. But. Um, they never come in three days. Add raccoons. <laughs> we just had this dude live in across the street in an RV. That took three parking spaces. And he was there for a month. And at night he would come out of his RV and he'd go and he'd look in the wind. He was looking in the neighbor's windows. And then he had his shit bucket, his RV shit bucket, and he would dump it all over. And like all the neighbors like called the police department and they were like, hey, this guy is being fucking weird. And I would say, like, some sort of enforcement came out to talk to this dude. The apartment windows? Yes. We saw him at, like, 1 a.m. looking in wi windows. I would say enforcement came out, like, no, I'm not exaggerating, probably, like, 20 times. And they would just come out and they'd go, hey man, you you got to move your car. Or you can't be here that long. They would go, okay, I will. And then they'd leave. <laughs> then they'd come back in like another week. Um, no one cared. This is so funny. Yeah, I mean, it's like if we didn't have to park on the street, it's like whatever. Dump your shit bucket. I don't give a fuck. You know? Maybe he wants to watch the stream, so he's peeking in the window. Go off, King. Shout out. Hit that follow button. But, um, it was just like, because of the street parking, spots are so valuable. They are the currency of this neighborhood, is finding a spot. And so when you got like a big ass van that takes up two spots and you got a fat fucking RV with some dude dumping his shit out, taking three spots, you come home at any time past like 
9 p.m. You're just circling and circling and circling. Sometimes it'll take us like 30, 40 minutes to park to go home. That shit was what was so frustrating about it. So annoying. King Kong Shlong. Thank you for the follow. Came, came win? KM win. Thank you for the follow. Yurishu, Yurisu. The Diamond Toaster. Appreciate you guys. Um, street Sweep Day is like a war zone on my block. Yeah, they don't play with the Street Sweep. The block is hot when it's street sweeping day. Um, but yeah, parking is definitely a pain in the ass. Are you able to move out? Yeah, we're actively looking to move. Hollywood, Hollywood, um, or Los Angeles, um, like, like East Hollywood area, Koreatown. Um, sort of just, um, it's a, it's a busy, it's a busy place. <laughs> I, my hand is moving, by the way. I'm not beating off. I'm petting my cat. I just want to clarify. There he went. And the other one's here. He's right here, my sweet boy. Whoa! Ow. Oh! I'm sorry, dude. Fuck. Ouch. Anyways, um... Yeah, that's so fucking lame, though. I feel bad for Sam that she's stuck. I need to uh, probably give her a hand. Um. Oh, but one last thing. I had like a Disturbia moment. With the, the guy in the van. Not the RV, the guy in the van. It's so weird. So I told you guys that he he lives in a different he lives on a different street. He lives a couple streets over, right? But he comes and he parks on our street. This big van with a cracked, smashed windshield, hole in the van. Oh, it's and like I said, it's like a moving truck. It's this big truck. I had like a Disturbia moment. I think you guys have seen that movie. Where Shia LaBeouf like sees a murder. Uh, so. I see this dude park and at that at that point, I'd never actually seen him. I've only seen his van. So I'm like. I hear it. I hear it rolling down the street. <laughs> Loud ass fucking piece of shit. I hear it and I'm like, I want to see what this dude looks like. So I know who who's who, who is doing this to me. I look out the window. I have a vantage point. I can see him parking. I wait to see him get out. He doesn't get out. He doesn't get out of the vehicle. So I'm like, okay, I go back to what I was doing. I was like playing Fortnite or something. And then I check again in like a couple minutes, in like five minutes. I look, still hasn't gotten out. I can see him. He's sitting in the pat in the, in the driver's seat, just like, I see him. 
I, I go back to playing Fortnite. I check back. I finish the game. I look back 10 minutes later. He's still there. And then here's the real juicer. Then I see him. I see him. Suddenly he reaches down, pulls out a box, pulls out two big rubber gloves. <whistles> Pops on two big rubber gloves. And then there's a door to get into the back of the truck. Goes in the back. Closes the door. I didn't see him come out again. That dude's got bodies in there. I don't want the smoke. That's a Dexter van? That's what I was saying. That is a Dexter van. I don't want the smoke with the Dexter van. Need to go investigate for content? That's the type of chat that... Um, that's the type of chat. I've, I, I, I've posted about this movie, but I would recommend you guys watch this movie. It's super funny. Um, it's a uh, live stream. What is it called? Um, oh, what's that movie called? Deadstream. <laughs> you guys should watch watch this movie if you like kind of like horror comedy stuff. It's called Deadstream. Um, super super funny. Uh. It's about a dude who's essentially like on Twitch and he's investigating this um, haunted location and every time he's like, I should fucking get out of here, his chat is like, no, go investigate that weird ass noise. Do it, pussy. Go investigate. Go look. And then he's like, oh my god, okay, fuck. <laughs> it's really funny. And that's what you guys are trying to do with me with the Dexter van. Uh, so check it out. <laughs> Us right now wanting you to check out the van. Exactly, yes, that's what you guys are doing to me. And it works. <laughs> this is content. How many subs do you need for this to happen? <laughs> Not enough. You know what? We need to get hyped up. I gotta go make sure that Sam got out. I have not heard from her. Legally Benjamin. Thank you for the follow. Mr. Glass. Billy X. Smooth Brain Caro. Thank you for the follows, guys. Appreciate all y'all. Appreciate all of y'all. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I ain't going to no murder van, dude. Sparky boy, thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys want some more, uh, let's see. We'll play the upbeat theme song. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, if you want some more morning content, some more morning reacts, um, I'm going to go ahead and raid. I'm looking who's on. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and raid uh, Denims. I don't know if you guys know Denims, but um, they're very nice. 
Sam says she did a 26-point turn and she got out. Love to hear it. She did it. Um, so go, go give Denim some love. It looks like she's about to start her stream. So, uh, shout out. Have a good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for the follows. Thanks for the kind words. Thank you, Sharon, for the gifts. Have a good morning, guys. Don't investigate the murder van. Play it smart. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good morning. Let's get this bread today. Let's go. Go say hi to Denim's people. See you later. Have a good morning, everyone. Do I take a peek at the van? Never peek in the van. Don't do it. Wrong stream. <laughs>